In this Star Trek Attack Wing unboxing, we're going to be going over the USS Voyager expansion pack. Look at that. Look at all that stuff in there. This will be exciting. Okay, here we have the contents of the Voyager expansion pack. Um, as always, we'll take a quick look at the ship itself. Uh, the actual paint job isn't that great. I mean, as far as, you know, it's not very quality. It looks like they um, kind of slopped it on. It has some nice decal work. But the paint itself isn't on there very well. So, average model. So, let's start taking a look at this big giant stack of cards it comes with. Okay, uh, Sacrifice. Before rolling the dice during an attack or defense, you may discard this upgrade and disable your captain in order to choose the results of two dice. Cannot be re-rolled. Why would you re need to re-roll them when you need, we've already chosen them? Uh, but for five points, you know, eh, I don't know. Being able to choose two results, you know, just automatically get two crits or automatically get two evades when you need them the most, might be kind of useful. Okay, here it is: the USS Voyager Intrepid class. Instead of making a normal attack with your primary weapon, you may fire in any direction at range one to two with four attack dice. If you do, show, do so, place an auxiliary power token beside your ship. That is very good. That's even better than the Enterprise's attack because it's four dice. And of course, it can be boosted by things like Scotty and stuff. And so you get an auxiliary power token. And uh, then you grab the guy that gives you, or I think it's Chicote or uh, Chekhov that allows you to get rid of a uh, token on a white maneuver. Uh, but he's got three crew, weapon, and tech. Incredible stats four attack, two, two evade, four hull. Five shields. I thought it was supposed to be a small ship. It's actually more powerful than a galaxy class. Bioneural Secretary. After you re after you roll the dice for any reason, you may disable this upgrade to re-roll the dice. Mm. You must re-roll all the dice and keep the results of the second roll. So this is a universal re-roll for five points and a tech slot. Um, it might be helpful. You know, something like a warp core breach might just save your butt. Okay, here's the Federation version of seven and nine. I've already seen the. Uh, Borg version. Action. Disable 7 of 9 to place one ad adaptation token on any tech upgrade with an, on an enemy ship with range 1 to 2 and you cannot use it against species 8472. So we'll get to the adap adaptation token later. Here's the generic Intrepid class, as expected. Ablative Generator. This is the one that's uh, a lot of people talking about if, uh, how it works. Place or remove the ablative to generator token beside your ship, and this upgrade may be purchased for the USS Voyager. Again, we'll get to the tokens when we get to the rules for them. Harry Kim, four points. Disable Harry Kim to repair one shield token as an action. It's okay. Here is the very interesting Intrepid class maneuver sheet. Of course, there's no red maneuvers, but there is no backwards and no comeabouts. Um, but it can go up to six by itself, and it has um, sharp twos are, are white maneuvers. So this is a this is actually a, a dramatically different maneuver card than any other ship in the game. So that's kind of interesting. And speed six is very interesting. Tom Paris, when defending, roll one extra defense dice. That's not too bad for four points. It's definitely something I would consider on a, especially on a cloak Klingon ship. Transphasic torpedoes, again 10 attack, it takes a target lock, you may fire it from forward or rear firing arcs, and only for the Voyager. 10 points, 10 attack dice, range 2 to 3, but requires a target lock. Okay, Catherine Janeway, Captain Skill 8 with an elite talent slot and 5 points. When your ship performs an evade, scan, or battle station action, action you may place an additional token of the appropriate type beside your ship. And if you do so, you gain an auxiliary power token. That could be a very interesting skill. Uh, yeah, I mean, being able to gain two evades, two battle stations, so you get one both on evade, both on defense and offense, uh, is very, very interesting. I don't know how that skill is going to play out in the end, but um, it's definitely something to, to play. Your standard five point photon torpedoes. Balan Taurus for four points, add one additional weapon slot and one additional tech slot to your ship's upgrade bar. 
Interesting. Very, very interesting. Generic Federation captain. The Doctor. The Doctor counts as either a crew or tech of your choice. Action. Remove all disabled upgrade tokens from your crew upgrades. That's very, very interesting. Uh, and it definitely has uh, some good combo potentials. Because there's no, there's no downside to this. It's just an action. You don't have to disable him or discard him or anything. He just gets rid of your disabled tokens from all your tech upgrades at once, or your crew upgrades at once. Uh, Tuvok, when firing a secondary weapon, you may disable Tuvok to roll an extra attack die. Uh, I don't get this card. That's five points for an extra attack die, only on a secondary weapon. Uh, Chikode, instead of performing a normal action, you may disable Chikode to allow two different crew upgrades to perform their actions during the same round. So this is a good combination with the Doctor. So basically, you get two actions for free. Okay. Adaptative, adaptation token. This card explains the rules for an adaptation token and serves as a reminder. While an adaptation token is on a tech upgrade, 7 of 9's ship is now considered to also possess that tech upgrade, even if, even if 7 is disabled. The, un, the original upgrade card is unaffected and can still be used. If the original upgrade is disabled or discarded, 7's ship is still considered to possess that upgrade and can freely use it. If using the tech upgrade would normally require the upgrade to be disabled or discarded, when 7's ship uses the upgrade, remove the adaptation token. The original upgrade is unaffected. Only one adaptation token may be in play at the same time. If 709 uses your ability on another tech upgrade, remove the token from the first one. If 709 is discarded, discard the adaptation token. So basically it allows you to copy and use uh, one of the tech upgrades on an opponent's ship. So that's a very interesting. Very, very interesting. It's a good use for like interface generator. Put a cloak on here. Anyway, a blade of generator token. This card explains the rules for the blade of generator token. Let's see. As soon as the ship receives the token, disable all of its remaining shields and remove the, its cloak token, if any. While the ship has the token, it cannot raise its shields or cloak. Convert all crits to hits. Place all damage cards the ship receives beneath the blade of generator upgrade card. If a player removes the the, the token from beside the ship, the damage cards remain. Once the later generator receives five damage cards, discard the upgrade card and remove the token from beside the ship. All excess damage affects the ship as normal. So again, it's a blade of armor, it sucks up to five damage on the card, uh, and uh, adds even more to survivability on the ship. And then we've got actually, the mission is called in-game, and there's actually four cards that goes over the missions. And it is a solo mission. So this is very interesting. This gives or, um, a lot of rules here, obviously, on the board cube tokens, which are right here. These are for the mission. Uh, Borg sphere token. Two transwarp after tokens. So most of the ex extra tokens in here are for the mission in game, which is a solo mission. You can play. Uh, I think I'm going to have to actually try this out. Uh, and see what happens. Because uh, I'm making over the rules, but you got you got cubes, spheres, transwarp apertures, and ten mission tokens. And uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I just noticed the pages on the on the mission cards are numbered, so you know which order they're in. It's kind of interesting. So yeah. There's a lot of rules for that mission, and it's a solo mission that's interesting. So here we have uh, captain tokens and your standard tokens down here. These things, I don't know what those are. Shields times five? I guess this allow you to, uh, wow, nine shield tokens. Oh, this must be for the missions or something on the, on the Borgs. Um, so it just kind of saves tokens on the board. That's interesting. And yeah, disabled times five. Interesting. Very interesting. Shield times five tokens. This could be useful. 
So here's the card. Again, Trevor Class has a forward and rear firing arc. And here we have the uh, ablative armor token, the adaptation token, and then all your disableds. So there is, in fact, a lot of stuff in with the Voyager. Um, of course, a lot of it has to do with the solo mission um, in-game, which is, of course, the series finale of Voyager. Uh, and I might have to go through these rules and um, give it a try. So that's it for the USS Voyager expansion pack, and thanks for watching.